All right, I know it's been quite a while since I've uh, done any videos as far as YouTube goes, but uh, finally getting back out on the trail. I just hit the trail about five minutes ago. Uh, just doing a quick overnight gear test. Got everything packed up. It's October 19th, and uh, it's definitely nice to be back out on the trail. Just dealing with uh, some of life's challenges the last few months now. And uh, YouTube basically took a back seat. I had other things to take care of in life. <clears throat> but things are clearing. Stuff's starting to look a little better. And I figured I had a little time off today. And tonight and tomorrow. So I'd uh, come out and just do a little hike. No more backyard testing for me. Probably spent like 14 nights hanging in the backyard in the hammock just seeing what works, what doesn't. Uh, now it's time to hit the trail and see what I come up with. That's why it's nice to hike in uh, fall. The leaves change. We're all falling. Ground is littered. Still got some green here and there. But uh, definitely enjoying it. And I uh, did pick up a ribs pack. This is really awesome, I gotta say. Uh, even just having like four or five pounds putting them to the front I'm doing less of that lean forward to counterbalance the uh, pack weight and uh, I guess the overall pack weight now nah, I'm gonna go down this way that trail go on this trail but uh, the overall pack weight of everything I have food water everything is uh, I think I hit 26 pounds overall it's not too bad considering the season it's supposed to dip down into the mid 30s tonight. Uh, kind of hoping it won't. But uh, the down sleeping bag I got is only rated for 40. Should be alright. I think I got enough uh, extra layers and everything that'll be alright through the night. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? It'll be a little cold. It'll be alright. But uh, really, the purpose of this whole hike is just so I can get an official night first actually this is the first night uh, that I'll be spending in the woods in over a year now and the last one I did was uh, Greylock in Mass and that was uh, September towards the end of September I think but uh so I'll be able to get a general rundown of what I want I and mean, everything I have is really so new haven't really uh, put it through its paces other than what I've pulled in the backyard and come on it's the backyard so, I'm also going to try to shoot as much of this on the GoPro as I can. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, time to enjoy that trail. Well, I've been hiking around for a little while now, and I am not finding any uh, water whatsoever. That's fine though. Uh, I only really have about 32 ounces of water, 40 ounces of Gatorade. I did bring the uh, Sawyer Squeeze to filter out anything I might find. I only found one puddle, but it was just like black water. And uh, pushed on, and hopefully, I'll find something else. But uh, I was getting towards later in the day. Yeah, it's almost four o'clock. Sun goes down at uh, just before six tonight. So we might have a, a little trail side meal here soon from Packet Gourmet. It's, uh, uh, it's like an all American burger wrap. Supply your own wraps. And they are amazing. 
had uh, had one the uh, had a couple of them the other day when I was in the backyard. And boy, oh boy, they're good. So I'm gonna find a little spot to uh, right here. That looks like a good table. So I'm gonna set up here. Get back to you guys when I have everything all set up. And take a break for a minute here. Alright, I am running the uh, ULA Ohm 2.0. Uh, I really do like this pack a lot. It really, before this trip, probably only had like a half mile on it. But uh, got it last, pretty much last winter's when I really got everything I have in here. Uh, well, I really, obviously I haven't been out in the woods to play with it, so that's what we're doing today. But, I ditched my alcohol stove for one of these propane ones. Ah, hold on, let me get the actual stove out. This is a uh, $6 pocket rocket knockoff I got from eBay, and the thing actually works pretty damn good. It's got its own little case in there, as you can see. Little guy, it only weighs like three and a half ounces, I think. I got the cold weather canister from Jetboil and my little Snow Peak 700 titanium pot. And uh, I put my whole cook kit right in the side pouch over here. Right here. It's a titanium windscreen and bagged out two servings of coffee for the, for the morning out. And this is my coffee cup thing. But we're not using that yet. Right now, what I want is I'm gonna dig into the pack and grab my uh, grab my pre-dinner snack. All right, guys, here we go. Packetgourmet.com, all-American burger wrap with the works, which basically just means they give you the ketchup, the mustard, the mayo, and uh, there's a relish packet in there too. And what's awesome is it only takes uh, two ounces of water, uh, boiling optional. And seeing that I might not have enough water for this whole trip, because this is all I brought in for water. You know, I was just hoping I might find a stream or something, but probably not gonna happen, I'll be all right. I mean, I'm leaving first thing tomorrow morning, so, uh, might have to skip skip the breakfast because there is a Dunkin' Donuts uh, not too far out of the trailhead and I can just hit that up but got my wraps time to get this thing fired up go with the uh, cooking bag option. This is, uh, it's got your cheese, some onions in here, some red onions. Take out the uh, oxygen absorbers. Throw that right in. Shebang. And like I said, only two ounces of water. Whoop. There you go. there make sure the meat's tender <laughs> there we go I got my wrap my little table set up over here with my pack it's time to do the dressings and then eat up and then I'm gonna hit back on the trail okay time to wrap this bad Larry up it's like a mini wrap now Oops. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I gotta say, pack of gourmet, two thumbs up. A plus in my book, man. This is good. That's packetgourmet.com, guys. Definitely give it a shot. I mean, the prices compared to, let's say, like Mountain House, are pretty close, and their food is 
absolutely amazing. I've tried a, uh, a few of their trail meals now, and uh, every single one of them has been an A+. Plus. I haven't had a bad one yet, so. This is the uh, All-American Burger Wrap. Give it a shot, guys. Try it out. Try it out. Packagourmet.com. Well, now that I have a little, a little food in my belly, it's getting a little later. Uh, I'm gonna have to start looking for a place to set up, uh, preferably with some water near it. But I'm not gonna count on that. First chance I get to set up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Got the hammock set up, the Cuban fiber tarp set up. That should be an interesting night. This is freaking awesome. It's uh, kind of like a network of old trails for uh, mountain biking and whatnot and walking and whatever you want. I have a sign. Didn't see a sign that said I couldn't camp. No fires, no motorized vehicles. Okay. Never said anything about camping. Yeah, and I'm stealthing. You're never gonna know I was there anyways. So, I'm gonna trek on and See what I come up with for a good campsite. All right, guys, I did find a pretty sweet location to uh, set up. It's uh, it's absolutely beautiful, nice and clear. But I mean, there are some uh, beer cans kicking around everywhere. You can see over near that tree, there's some pink thing over there. You know, just just trash here and there. And by a little, I mean it's there's a lot of trash. But uh, I got a trash bag. I brought in a. Uh, a big black trash bag and I'll just pack this up uh, here soon after I set up my uh, make sure I'm all set up before I do that so cost of the night picking up some beer cans which you know I kind of expected it that's why I brought the, the trash bag because uh, I'm only maybe four or five miles from a, a pretty big college so kind of have to uh, expect these things when uh, you got a bunch of college kids running around. So, I think I'm going to hang between this tree here and maybe this tree here. Actually, that tree looks mighty dead. So, maybe I will have to find a different spot. I don't I don't really trust that tree. So, and I'll I'll look around a little bit more. But this is definitely going to be the, uh, the spot for me tonight. So, let me get the pack off. Alright guys, this is the uh, Cuban fiber tarp with four doors. Uh, I put the uh, I put it into the snake skins, the Hennessy snake skins. You got the figure nine beaner at the end of it with just some paracord. This is just kind of like a rough mock-up of, uh, of uh, how I want this thing set up. I mean, I'll get some lighter cordage. And maybe some lightweight uh, uh, figure nine carabinas. But as you can see, got the camouflaged Cuban fiber tarp. And boom, there we go. Probably one of my favorite pieces. Of everything I got. The wind is coming from that direction. So I'll pitch this side down nice and low. So I gotta put my uh still gotta put the hammock up. But I can show you that for now. Digging it. Let's carry on. Alright, well I got home all set up. 
between the two trees. Let's take a little look around. Got the uh, Whoopi Sling suspension kit. And I use the uh, Marlin Spike Hitch Knot with a stick. Down in here I got the Grand Trunk Hammock. I got this door rolled back. A couple of book binders. This door is closed down this way to get me from this wind. As you can see it's starting to pick up now. Uh, sun's going down just over uh, just over the uh, horizon right there. A little, kind of somewhat of a porch mode. Just a stick, staked it down to here. I had to put a rock on it, the ground's kind of soft. Use the top tie out to that tree. I think I'm gonna do another one over here on this, on this end right here. Pull it out like that. Again, another line, the rock on top of the uh, stake. Pretty much gonna leave this door closed. I have a couple more clips. I'm just gonna clip that right there so it'll completely seal off this end. And just one strand right there. But overall, man, this thing is uh, pretty badass. Absolutely enjoying this. And the hammock is from hammockgear.com. Once again, this is the Cuban fiber tarp. Uh, four door camouflage. So, that is my home tonight. So, uh, I'm gonna put the sleeping bag in there, get the pad all set up. I am using a sleeping pad, not a uh, under quilt. Which, maybe I'll get that this winter, who knows. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I got plenty of goodies. Uh, I, I wanna say that this ribs pack is awesome. Uh, really, it's really convenient to have the extra uh, compartments right on my chest, especially for filming. Uh, I got a few mountain houses here, plenty of clothes, my suit and bags at the bottom. It's time to set up the sleeping bag and everything else. Uh, there's the bag of trash, and guess what? I found a trail beer. No, I'm not going to drink that, though. I don't know how long that's been out here. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to chill out in the hammock for a little bit and relax. Probably put on a couple more layers. It's starting to get a little colder now. But uh, I've had a great day. Absolutely wonderful hiking around again. Uh, pack weight, like I said, it was only around 26 pounds. Very comfortable with the ribs pack. It kind of balances me out from front to back. So uh, yeah, I think it's a good test so far, but now it's going to go into overnight. And let's see how that works. Definitely, definitely getting windy. Definitely getting windy. The sun is almost gone. It's cool. Well, it's been kind of laying around in the hammock for a little bit now. So uh, I think it's about like 6.15 or so. You can definitely feel the temperatures dropped. A uh, pretty decent amount. It's supposed to go down to 35. Uh, I pretty much just threw my stuff, you know, right underneath the tarp and everything. Use my uh, waterproof outer layer just as a pretty much as a ground sheet. Just throw my extra clothes on and and whatever. Uh, probably gonna cook up something to eat soon. Try to get that warmth. Uh, it's probably gonna be a cold night for me tonight. Oh boy. So that being said. Might cook something. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we're gonna uh, chalk this one as a failure tonight. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the morning. The last couple hours, it was just I could not fall back asleep. It wanted to get. It's, it's pretty cold out now. It's I want to say it's about 34, maybe a little lower. Uh, definitely should have went with the uh, bigger sleeping bag. My, uh, I have a 20 degree synthetic and then a uh, zero degree down bag that I recently got. But uh, I think if I went with a 20 degree down, I would have been 100%. Uh, I went down to 35 in that thing in the backyard already, and I was fine. The, uh, I think I'm past the point of the 40 degree uh, down bag. So I'm going to have to get a little something heavier with either my 20 degree synthetic or the uh, zero degree down bag that I got. But... This won't be the last, obviously. Uh, 
I'm gonna be doing a lot more uh, backyard hanging. Do maybe like a weekly, every other week episode or so. And I'll be doing, uh, I've been kind of thinking about it a lot lately, especially when I'm in the backyard hanging out uh, to start doing some, uh, I don't know, maybe some like, gear reviews and uh, previews, trail ideas, trail meals, whatever. Whatever, you know, I feel like doing anything about hiking. But uh, oh, this one I'll just have to, eh, I'll just have to bite the bullet. It wasn't going to end well. So getting back out, walking, warming up now, all packed up and heading on home. Got yeah, a very, very long walk ahead of me. I probably won't be home for about two or three hours. Uh, it's going to be about a seven mile walk. All road walking, no big deal. But, guys, I will see you shortly. I won't, uh, I won't let this much time go by again. Uh, like, like I said earlier, I was just dealing with some uh, life challenges and whatnot. But uh, those are past me. Time to move on. Time to get back out in the wild and do what I love doing. Okay, well guys, I was just walking and I, I'm out of the trail, it's behind me now, but I realized I forgot to grab the bag of trash that I picked up. Great. Well, I'll come back in a couple days. Maybe I'll come back on the mountain bike, rip through the trail again. I mean, I got a whole week off, I'm on vacation. This is only like the beginning of my vacation, so. Um, uh, Whoops, <laughs> forgot the bag of trash. So, that, that's how it goes, I guess, sometimes. Try to do something good, and then, oh, screwed it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care, everybody. <laughs>